Hello Taurus and welcome. Let's see what we have as your daily tarot reading for the day. We're looking at the 15th of February 2023 for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, it won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for yourself. As always, we have number two spirit, your higher self, trusting your higher self. So your intuition is going to be key here today. Let's see what we have for the day for you, Taurus. What do we have for Taurus for the day, please? Angel Spirits Guides, Taurus for the day. I'm using the Handsome Roberts deck for those of you who are interested. Eight of Swords, trapped in her own head. Means feeling stuck in our external environment as well. <laughs> right after that, we've got the sun, which is nice with the Eight of Swords. The world. Wow, the King of Swords. Male or female with the King of Swords. You could be dealing with a, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, male or female, but not limited to that. This is somebody who is really seeing the truth of a situation for what it is. They know what the right thing to do is, the fair thing, the honourable thing. Again, male or female, but this is somebody who is communicating to you, making a choice or decision. And it is for their higher self. They see, they see what they need to do now. It just feels really lovely because, again, the Eight of Swords can be being trapped in your own head not wanting to look at something. No, I'm not, I'm not entertaining that particular discussion. I'm not moving forward in that particular, on that particular path. I mean, in terms of relationships, this would be, if this was relationships, it would be somebody who hasn't wanted to entertain a particular direction in terms of relationships. I mean, that could have been married, marriage or having children or adoption or buying a home together or, you know, progressing things in some way because they're stuck. But it's their mind, their thought pattern, their perception energy, their way of looking at something, their mindset keeps them stuck. And this is this is somebody who realizes that now. So they're doing the right thing. The sun and the world card is liberation, liberation from this mindset in a very positive and happy way and saying, yeah, let's do it, let's go for it. This is good news, celebration, joy, happiness. And the world card is a celebratory energy. You could have come so far in a relationship and this is about taking things to the next level, the next step. And again, this could be advice for you as well. So this, is, this can be about elevating a relationship in some way. We're not limited to that. If this, was, if this was to do with an outcome in some way here, Taurus. And again, this feeling of you're stuck in your own head, potentially thinking about all the things that could go wrong here because things feel like you're beyond your control. You're being told that there is some communication coming your way. And again, could even be a legal thing or from somebody in authority in some way with the King of Swords. The Sun and the World card, again, are very positive energies. They're both cards of success, achievement, accomplishment victory so it could well be somebody in authority that you're waiting to hear from and you're like oh it's the worst possible case scenario you know it could be that kind of energy this is that 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 is the thread that i'm getting for you but it looks like everything's going to be okay so you've no need to worry i mean really i feel everything's going to be okay anyway because it, it feels like whatever this issue is, whether it's in a relationship and taking things to the next level and this person hasn't been wanting to entertain it, it just feels like a real turnaround. And similarly, in terms of external factors like uh, achievement, victory, uh, successful outcomes here, even though you're kind of like thinking about the worst case scenario here, it feels like someone is bringing you the clarity that you need here. So I'm going to pull an extra card for the world. Clarify the world, please, for Taurus. Yeah, we have judgment. Now, judgment, can, yeah, as I said before, judgment can be a legal thing. 
So it can be if you're waiting for an incoming judgment or decision, this King of Swords can be bringing that to you. Judgment can be also how we judge people in situations. So again, this, this can be uh, you deciding to make it, again, this can be this person or you deciding to make a major life choice and decision. And it can be something that they haven't wanted to look at there's a sense of liberating from that mindset in a very positive and uplifting way and taking things to the next level. Why? Because the, the Three of Wands here is telling you that something good is coming your way, whether it's a relationship energy or whether it's to do with legal. Someone's going to make a judgment. Okay, Taurus, that's what I have for you. The higher self is intuitively, they know, you know, what's going to happen next. You feel positive about it. So we have, I soothe away anxiety and stress by choosing to do things that help me relax. That's your first affirmation. Second one is, I am deserving of respect, love and happiness. I give respect, love and happiness too. Okay, Taurus, let's pull you a final message. Final message for Taurus. Final message for Taurus, thank you. That three of wands is just wait, something good is coming your way. We have Spider, Dreamweaver. Tune into the energetic grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? Bottom of the deck, we have Koi Carp Abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around you and through you. Yeah, the abundance energy can be where we don't feel lack. And this is the energy because one person, certainly if this is a relationship, they haven't wanted to entertain something, but that's completely being changed. They're liberating from that mindset because they know they're at that point where they need to make a major life choice and decision. And there could be consequences if they don't. That's the energy here. And similarly, this can be a consequences energy in terms of an incoming judgment or decision here, Taurus. I mean, however this would resonate for you, the message really does remain the same. It could be a legal thing. And again, somebody in authority, again, bringing you news communication. I mean, this person is bringing you communication here, whether it's legal or love romance. And it's all about the right, the honorable, the fair being done and decided upon. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.